Hello, all creative content creators. In this video, I am going to show you how to make an auto resize text box in After Effects using expression. Also, I am going to show you how to create an auto resize text box as a motion graphics template in After Effects inside the Essential Graphics panel. So, let's get started. Now, we are inside After Effects. Here, you can see, I have already created a composition, called Auto Resize Text. First of all, we need some text. That's why, I am going to select, this type tool icon from here. Then, we have to type something. I am going to type, your text here. By the way, you can type anything, that you like. And, here you can see, I have used this font. You can use any font. Then, align the text, to the center. Then, I am going to change the text layer name. Here, I am going to give the text layer name, main text. Then, we have to create a rectangle shape, for the text box. That's why, I am going to select, this round rectangle tool. Then, I am going to create a perfect round rectangle shape, for the text. After that, move the shape layer, to the bottom of the main text layer. Now, I am going to resize and reposition the rectangle shape. Now, we are done. Let's change the color of the text. Here, I am going to select a black color. Then, I am going to change the shape layer name, background shape. Now, you can see, our text box is ready. Now, I am going to make auto resize text box, by using expression. Firstly, let's move over to the effects and presets panel, to add an effect. This is a slider control effect. Now, drag and drop this slider control effect, to the shape layer. Next, from the shape layer, move over to the effects panel. Here, you can see the slider control effect. Now, I'm going to rename the slider control to padding. We are going to make this effect control the size, of the rectangles padding, around the text. Next, we need to toggle down, to the shapes content. And, go to rectangle path. Now, Hold the ALT key, and then, click on the stopwatch icon of the size. This will enable expressions. And here, you can see the expression box. I have already select some expression scripts. Now, I am going to copy, and paste this expression script, which will tell the shape to adapt, to the size of the text, plus the padding. I have included this expression text, in the video description, which you can download below. Also, it's important to note that, the composition layer name here, called main text refers to the name of the text layer, I currently have in this composition. If you rename that layer, be sure to change the name here, in the expression as well. So now, I am going to copy this expression. And then, I am going to paste this expression, in this expression box. Now, you can see, the rectangle shrinks, to the size of the text. As you can see here, it is too close for our liking. That's why, we need to add some padding. So, Go down to the padding slider, and, increase the padding. Now, you can see, this is perfect. Also, you can change the roundness of the shape layer. I am going to make the roundness value, around 10. Now, we are done. Now, if you type new text, you can see that, the rectangle adapts to the text size. Now, we are done. This is great. Now, I am going to show you how to make this auto resize text box, as a motion graphics template, in After Effects, inside the Essential Graphics panel. And, you can use this template, in Premiere Pro. So, let's get started. Here you can see, this is our Essential Graphics panel. First of all, I am going to create a new composition. And, I am going to make this master composition. And then, click on OK. Now, you can see, the master composition is blank. Here. You can see, there are two compositions. Now, we have to drag and drop this auto resize text composition, in the master composition. Let's move over to the essential graphics panel. From here, we have to select master. Next, move over to the auto resize text composition. First of all, I am going to create text panel, in the essential graphics panel. That's why, click on this add comment section. I am going to rename this text panel. Now, from the main text layer, we have to drag and drop this source text, into the Essential Graphics panel. 
and rename this edit text. Now, I am going to apply an effect to change the text color very easily. Move over to the effects and presets panel to add an effect. This is a fill effect. Now, drag and drop this fill effect to this main text layer. Now, you can see the default color is red. So, we have to press E to open all the effects. Here, you can see the fill effect. From the color panel, you can easily change the text color. After that, we have to drag and drop this color into the essential graphics panel and rename this text color. Now, I am going to create background shape panel in the essential graphics panel. That's why, click on this add comment section. I am going to rename this background shape panel. Now, I am going to apply an effect to change the background shape color very easily. This is a fill effect. Now, drag and drop this fill effect to this background shape layer. Now, you can see the default color is red. So, we have to press E to open all the effects. Here, you can see the fill effect. From the color panel, you can easily change the background shape color. After that, we have to drag and drop this color into the essential graphics panel. Next, we have to add a shape roundness panel into the essential graphics panel. Go to the contents of the background shape layer. From the rectangle one, go to the rectangle path one. Now, drag and drop this roundness into the essential graphics panel. From here, you can easily change the roundness of the shape. Next, move over to the master composition. Now, I'm going to add position and scale control. Here, in the master composition, let's right click and make a new null object. Next, we have to rename the null object expression controls. First of all, I am going to add scale control. That's why, move over to the effects and presets panel to add an effect. This is a slider control effect. Now, drag and drop this slider control effect to this expression controls layer. Next, press E to open all the effects. Here you can see the slider control effect. Next, go to the auto resize text comp layer. After that, go to the transform. From the scale section, we need to drag the scale pick whip to connect to the slider control. After that, we have to drag and drop this slider control into the essential graphics panel. Firstly, we have to create controls panel into the essential graphics panel. That's why, click on this add comment section. And, I am going to rename this controls panel. Next, drag and drop this slider control into the essential graphics panel. From here, you can easily change the scale size. And here, you can also edit the range. And lastly, I am going to rename this slide control scale. In the final step, I am going to add position control. That's why, move over to the effects and presets panel to add an effect. This is a separate XYZ position effect. Now, drag and drop this effect to the auto resize text composition layer. Now, open the auto resize text composition layer. Next, go to the effects panel. After that, open the separate XYZ position effect. Now, select X and Y position. Then, drag and drop these X and Y position into the essential graphics panel. Here, you can see, in the essential graphics panel, X position, and the Y position. Also, from here, you can edit the range of the X position. Here, the X position range is negative 1920. And here, the X position range is 1920. Because, that's the horizontal pixel range of this composition. And, you can edit the range of the Y position. Here, the Y position range is negative 1080. And here, the Y position range is positive 1080. Because, that's the vertical pixel range of this composition. Now we are done. And finally, we have to click here to export the motion graphics template. And from here, select your local folder to save the template. In this way, you can make an auto resize text box in After Effects by using expression. Also, you can create an auto resize text box as a motion graphics template in After Effects 
inside the essential graphics panel. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like the video and leave a comment.